We're going to include the offshore. Yeah, I mean, when we got that note to the market on Friday about this uh, actively engagement between Evergrande uh, and its offshore creditors, uh, that statement really didn't give a lot of detail. So it left a lot of questions on the size and scope. Well, Bloomberg News has learned through people familiar with the situation that uh, this debt restructuring as it is planned right now will include all offshore public bonds and private debt offerings, uh, including of its subsidiaries, including Scenery Journey, which uh, has those two coupons, 30-day grace period expired yesterday, still wondering um, how that is going to be resolved, as well as some of the more off-balance sheet, more opaque offerings that Evergrande has guaranteed, including from Jumbo Fortune Enterprises. Uh, and essentially, you know, this is not necessarily a good thing for the stock, again, yesterday down nearly 20%. Mm -hmm. And Bloomberg Intelligence was out with a note saying, now that the Guangdong government has stepped in to kind of help the way, if you will, give some guidance on how to resolve the debt crisis, uh, it may prompt, uh, you know, further pressure to sell uh, the, you know, those units at a discount uh, and also sell a lot of these projects that are incompleted, uncompleted uh, at a discount. Mm -hmm. And that's why we saw with the shares down 19.5% and the other units as well, the new energy vehicle was down um, and the property management arm uh, down as well. The latest on Kaisa, uh, just speaking of Guangdong, Guangzhou, uh, CCTV reporting, I think about an hour back, that Kaisa failed to deliver some flats and pay wages. I think a reminder, really, that we're far from out of the woods here. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, th this is a company, it's not as large, uh, it's 27th largest developer and, and on uh, by sales volume, I believe, yeah. in 2020, but it has been one of the biggest participants in the offshore bond market and, of course, uh, was that first one in the property sector a few years ago to default uh, and they, they they potentially could default today they have a 400 million dollar dollar bond that uh, matures today but we're hearing uh, that a group of creditors advised by Lazard have essentially f you know issued or given a letter of forbearance uh, proposal uh, designed to give the beleaguered Kaisa some time to kind of work things out and find a way out if you will